What's up guys, Spank Stalker here. Back today on the five a day account. Um, I did make a purchase today. Um, I was kind of 50-50 if I was gonna do it or not, but I thought, you know what? It, I think it's gonna be good for the account. So I went ahead and did it. It was five bucks. Um, and it wasn't in the bazaar, surprisingly. It was a little pop-up sale. Um, show you real quick here. Basically got four level eight insignias. Now, the one heavy blow insignia, I'm not sure if I would ever use that one, to be honest, except for maybe for the stats. But the flame guard would be really nice, the life drain would be really nice, and the tenacity would also be really nice. Um, all of those basically, not damage dealing insignia, but basically just keep your hero alive insignias. And that's basically why I got it. Um, a lot of the dungeons that we're doing, I don't think we have a damage problem. Uh, a damage dealing problem I think we have more of a keep our heroes alive long enough problem um, and I say problem but it's not really a problem because we're actually doing really really good um, but I think these insignias are can definitely help us to stay a little alive a little bit longer and get mo hopefully get more procs off and clear off these dungeons a little bit easier so that's why I went ahead and made that purchase there Claim all these right here. And <clears throat> I do plan to eventually start using uh, Ronin. Um, I don't think his crest is high enough yet, but you know, as far as insignias, I'm thinking uh, right now Life Drain. 15% uh, with each attack, and he has a very fast attack. Um, so I'm thinking that's going to be really good for him. Uh, he does currently have a level 7 revive. Which is absolutely really nice. I can't wait to get that to level 9. Which would be sweet. Get 3 revives off him. He'd be pretty beastly in my opinion. Um, Gunslinger. I thought about one of these insignias. But I say, I'm not really sure. Um, I, I might use a life drain on, him, on her. Until I start using a Ronin. But then again I'm still not sure. Um, I could also use Unholy Pack, possibly, because she does ha currently have a level 4 life drain for a, a talent. Um, I did not really see anything else I wanted to change as of yet. I think this is good for little Nick. Michael, I'm not sure. Maybe, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm really not sure. Maybe Flame Guard, but I'm really not sure yet because I really don't use them just yet. Anubis, um, I'm really not sure with Anubis, I, I, I'm 50-50, possible Flame Guard, but possible, I really would like a, an, uh, um, uh, what do you call it, what do you call it, Brain Freeze, uh, what is it, what is it, what is it, come on, don't you, don't you love it when you have a Brain Freeze, Empower, there you go, <laughs> Empower, it's too early. Um, I would rather have Empower on Anubis for a crest set, but it is what it is for the moment. Um, Sasquatch. I would really love this to be at a, a level 5 t a tenacity or something. That'd be awesome. Uh, that with, uh, that with the, the Berserk would be it, it's really nice. Possibly even with the Life Drain. <laughs> that would be pretty nice. Um... But for now, I'm going to leave Berserk on him. Aspirita. Uh, I'm not really sure on, on Aspirita. I could possibly go for the Unholy Pact. Uh, but I'm not really sure yet. i got to kind of see how it plays out. Because she actually does a lot of damage. Pumpkin Duke. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stick with the, uh, the Tenacity right now. And the uh, uh, re Regenerate. I think that's a good combo for him. I would rather have Empower and Regenerate. I think that'd be awesome. But this is what we have to work with. And of course, Walla Walla. I would. I either want to get a level 5, 5 and 9 Flame Guard or Sacred Light for Walla. For a talent. I'll be happy with either one of those, to be honest. Because I think the Empower is, is really good on him. If I had a Sacred Light and then a level f uh, 8 Flame Guard, that would be sweet. As far as Athene, she's already got the Flame Guard. As far as Crest, Zealous Drive. 
Yeah, it, it's hard to tell. But I th I'm definitely thinking of Flame Guard for uh, Serena here. I think uh, Flame Guard would be awesome. She's already got level 7 revive. Definitely help, help keep her alive in the game. But that's kind of my thinking on that. Um, I already got everybody hired up. Let's see, is there anything real quick to collect before we do insane dungeons? Again, we currently only have two talents, Survival and Unholy Pact. I'm not really, I don't know where to really put Survival, to be honest. Again, nothing more to open up, so let's go ahead and get right into Insane Dungeons. Insane Dungeon, we've got 8, 9, and 10. Okay, i got to look at this one, see where I'm going to want to attack from. Kind of thinking right. Where is he? I think probably right here. Probably like right there. I'm thinking. Let's go ahead. Drop that down. See as much as we can get from that. So I, I did miss a tower. And we did just lose pumpkin dude. Okay, yeah, definitely a bummer to lose pumpkin dude. Sure. I think we're still gonna get it. We just don't have the speed of pumpkin dude. Alright. Definitely a good deal. Um, I probably did not need to throw down that uh, one skill or one, one uh, magic, but. Eh, you never know. Go ahead and see where his pumpkin duke can get him up. Where's he hiding in there? There he is. There he is. The old pumpkin's hiding. <laughs> Let me know what you guys think. Uh, where's the best place to put some of those uh, insignias? Definitely open to opinions. But I know Serena's gonna help out greatly from that flame guard once we start using her. And I think if we had Serena in that bat in that battle there and we were able to revive Pumpkin Duke, I think that would have been huge. Would have gone a lot quicker. Alright. Got all our little troops hired up. Let's go right back into insane dungeons. This one's different. This one's very different. I'm afraid if I go from the left, I'm just gonna get hit with way too many stun towers. But I don't know, I don't think I have that much of a choice. I don't want to come up straight from the middle. I think that could be bad. So I'm gonna go ahead. Go, go here from the left and basically hope. And all spells down, I'm throwing troops down. That pumpkin group prop and comes in, I think there it is. And I think we got this one. Oh, we just lost the new bitch real quick. Go down troops, there we go. There we go. We lost Pumpkin again. Alright, we have one more. Let's go ahead and let's get Pumpkin up here real quick. I think we can go ahead and get that last one. I think we got time. It's definitely getting a little bit harder. Uh, again, Pumpkin Duke is uh, really important to stay alive. If we start having trouble with uh, keeping Pumpkin alive, we'll go ahead and put uh, Serena in there. Not sure who I'd switch out for Serena, but we'll get to that when we have to here. When you're doing uh, dungeons, I like to, especially if you have a lot of sun towers, I like to throw down a whole bunch of troops right next to the sun towers. Get the sun towers to proc on your troops and not your heroes. 
That way your heroes don't get stunned as much and they're able to just keep on tearing through. Um, troops are easy, troops are cheap, you got, they're plentiful, and it does make a help, definitely. Definitely makes a help. Okay, this one's interesting. Hmm. Well, this, they definitely make this one a little bit interesting here. I'm gonna try from the top. I don't know for sure. It's, oh, wait, I need a. Forgot my spells, forgot my spells. Alright, we're gonna try for the top. I hope we can win it. We can get this one. I did not think it was going to be that easy, guys. That, that went really quickly. I'm definitely impressed with that one. And that is it for Insane Dungeon 4. That is super nice. We will be starting Insane Dungeon 5 tomorrow. Really happy for that. I'm going to go ahead and log in real quick, see what we've got. Hmm, let's see, where would I want to... I'm not crazy about these open spots. I wonder if it doesn't have a totem or something in there. I don't like those attacking in empty areas. I might either go from the left or right or possibly just because it's left, less heroes. I might eventually attack somewhere here or here. I think that might be the best bet. I think there's too many heroes at once. but. Yeah, that's where we're at with the Insane Dungeon, guys. Uh, worked out pretty darn good. Uh, let me know what you guys think about the Insignias, where I should put those. Um, I definitely want to get those into play for next time. Until then, I'll see you guys in the next video, and you guys have an awesome day.